All right, so now we are looking at sort of fuchsias and a little bit of berries. I wanna kind of try and think about pulling out my true fuchsia shades first and then moving into these sort of mobs and berries. That, 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 these, that. All right, so I've got four mats here and I probably see myself keeping all of them because I think this is gonna make a really like lovely transition. So this is ColourPop to Detango. This is Rosy Pink from Coastal Scents, which is more of a hot pink. Then we've got the shade Cinnabar Rose also from Coastal Scents, which is a little bit of a more deeper fuchsia. And then we've got one of my favorite shades, which is one four, yeah, 143 from ColourPop. Um, this gets back into the more <laughs> purpley tones. So that is just a really fun quad of really pretty sort of pinky fuchsia purpley shades. So I'm just gonna keep all these. I know that, set those to the side. Let's swatch these. So this is Silver Lilac from Coastal Scents. This I remember being absolutely beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. This is Raspberry Tart from Coastal Scents. Some of these raspberry shades may end up looking really similar to one another, so we have to pick and choose. This is Thulean Pink, also by Coastal Scents. I was filling in some pinky um, shades when I made that Coastal Scents order. And then this is On the Rise by ColourPop. And then this is Volatile. This is one of those NYX shadows that I can't remember the name of. All right, definitely keeping that. I like that, I like that. I feel like this ColourPop one is the one that's like not calling to me the most. I think I'm gonna pass along on the rise and I'm gonna keep this purple there, so we'll keep that. Because we ended with more of those sort of fuchsia purpley colors, I think I wanna work my way from some of the brighter colors that are left into some of the more muted colors that are still in here. This purple may be a good transition shade between the ones we just ended with and the ones that we are moving into next. This is Sydney Grace Sweetheart. That is really pretty. Just thinking about this, I'm gonna swatch this next to one that we, yeah, see that's a great transition shade. So I'm just gonna automatically move Sweetheart as kind of my uh, transition shade over from this that, that collection to this one. Uh, let's try this. I think this is Coastal Scents as well. Uh, Rustic Maroon, which is more of a reddish undertone, isn't it? As I swatch that, I don't think that's in the right place. I think that is gonna go more with my reddish tones. So then I think we need to go that, and that, that. Yeah, let's do this. Um, this is that JD Glow shade that is like this pink, green, duochrome. I'm gonna do what I said. I'm gonna definitely keep this. This is Sin by JD Glow. It's really, really pretty and it's shifty and it's slightly pink, but I am gonna go put that at the bottom of that other palette. This is the shade Love Letter. This was in the Modern Renaissance palette. It is kind of that really pretty berry tone. This is the shade Get Out from ColourPop, which is gonna be a little bit more of a muted version of that. Like that almost looks more red, doesn't it? I think I'm gonna put that with my reds. Fingers are starting to get stained from these pinky shades. All right, so this is the shade Magenta Pink from Coastal Scents. Um, really pretty transition shade. And then this is Cupcake from Makeup Geek. I feel like some of my Makeup Geek shades are starting to get a little bit powdery. Um, and I know she's coming out with new shades. This is Pretty Cruel by ColourPop. And this one has a little bit of micro glitter in it, which I really wish it didn't. I can kind of tap that off on my brush. And then I've got two plummy shades here. This is Maroon Berry from Coastal Scents, which is kind of weak. And then this one is Atropos, which I believe was from Oh, I can't even remember the brand of this. I'm gonna have to find it and put it up here on the screen. And that one is so much more pigmented. Keep Love Letter for sure. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna pass on Cupcake and trash it. I'm gonna keep this one, pass on that one, and keep that one. So this one and this one are getting decluttered. All right, so let's swatch these because I feel like I'm gonna have some, probably some dupes inside of here as well. This is Mauve Frost by Coastal Scents. That is really, really pretty, but it might need to go to the mobs. This is Foxy Pink. 
by Coastal Scents as well. Yeah, see, that's feeling more pink. This is Double Date by ColourPop. See, that's more of that murky purple shade that I was going for. This is Punk Heart by NYX. And then this is I'm Out by Sydney Grace. Oh yeah, those colors are pretty much the same. I'm gonna pass this NYX shade on. I feel like these two are super similar. So I think I'm gonna keep um, Frosty Mob and pass that one on. But I'm gonna keep these three. All right, folks. Here are all of my sort of mommy shades and then into some sort of mommy plummy type shades because we're gonna move from this into corals. So I feel like what I wanna do is go a little bit pinkier into rose gold, which will then lead into corals. All right, let's start there because I think I've kind of got these organized correctly. If some of these start looking more like these more, I, would, I hate to say warmy tone mauve, but a little bit more of that rose gold shade, we will scoot them around a bit. So this first shade here is Pale Nude from Coastal Scents. It's a really nice transition shade for me. This is Sydney Grace Embrace. Come on, Sarah, keep yourself on camera. All right, this shade here is Dreamboat from ColourPop. This is Sydney Grace Faithful. Definitely like this tone. Made to Last from ColourPop. A little more brown leaning now that I see it. And then finally, this is Dusty Rose from Anastasia. I definitely love this shade. It's very cool toned rose. Yeah, so that's really pretty. All right. I feel like these two are super similar to one another. This is Dreamboat from ColourPop and Made to Last by ColourPop. I'm just gonna pass on Dreamboat. I don't know if I prefer that one better or worse. Then I also feel like these two shades are pretty similar. This is Faithful and Embrace. Yeah, those are looking super similar. I mean, I can argue they're different, but I think on the eye, they're gonna look super simple. So I'm just gonna grab one and pass it on. And then I'm gonna keep those four. I've got these four very dark mattes that are great for deepening up mauve looks. So I don't feel like I need all of them. A lot of them are Sydney Grace. This is Sydney Grace, my forever. That's just performed so well. This is Sydney Grace Effervescent. A little more purple leaning. This is Cute Alert from ColourPop. A lot more powdery to swatch. And then this is Bountiful by Sydney Grace. They all have slightly different undertones, but I feel like I can clearly pass along this ColourPop one. I definitely don't like it as much as the Sydney Grace shades I have here. I'm gonna pass on this darker one. I feel like I already kept a very dark, dark purple that would do what Bountiful does. I'm gonna keep the shade Effervescent and I'm gonna pass on this one. All right, so now we've got a whole bunch of mauve shades that all look super similar to each other. And then we've got some darker mauve shades, many of which look super similar to one another. All right, let's swatch these. So this is Peach Fuzz from Coastal Scents. And then this is Pink Champagne from Anastasia. I really like this color a lot. It's really shiny. Like you can see, hopefully, the difference in the shine effect you get from that Anastasia one. This is Snake Eyes from ColourPop. Very similar shade. This is Sydney Grace Alluring. A little more peachy. I think I'm gonna put that with my coral shades. And then this is Lucky Penny by Makeup Geek. That one's still growing strong. That's really pretty. I like that shade. I think I'm gonna pass on this Coastal Scents shade. I wanna keep Anastasia. Honestly, I wanna keep Snake Eyes as well. I think I'm just gonna keep these three. And then let's swatch these deeper mobs. This is one of my favorite shades. This is Summer Dance by Sydney Grace. This is a darker mauve, but it's really, really pretty. This is Raisinberry from Coastal Scents. This is Autumn from Sydney Grace. This is Berry Sexy by Luxy, I believe. Yep, Luxy. And this one has a little bit of a gold shift to it. A little bit darker. And then this is Bitten. Oh shoot, this is a matte. Let's see what this, how this swatches. 
Yeah, I feel like a lot of my Makeup Geek shadows are just going off. They feel really powdery and like the binding is coming out. So I'm gonna trash that one. I think I'm definitely keeping this one. I'm gonna pass on that Coastal Set shade, but I'm gonna keep those three there. These are sort of rose gold shades, shades that are a little more um, warm leaning than some of these more cool toned mauve. So I would still consider these almost mauve shades, but these are mauve leaning warm versus mauve leaning cool. Um, this is Peyton's Puppy by um, Sydney Grace. Love this shade, absolutely beautiful. And these are the three I feel like I'm gonna have to decide between. So this is Bronze Peach by Coastal Scents. This is where a lot of them start to look really similar, I think. Um, this is Labyrinth by ColourPop. Yeah, that's almost the same shade. And then this is Redwood by Coastal Scents. Yeah, those three shades look really freaking similar to one another. So I'm gonna keep Peyton's Puppy and I'm going to keep um, Labyrinth by ColourPop. I'm gonna pass these two Coastal Scents shades on. Now let's swatch these rose golds. If they get too peachy, I may move them over because I'm trying to do peachy corals over in the next section. Um, this is Liar Liar from um, ColourPop. It's definitely more of a pinky undertone, a little bit apricotty. This is Blushed by Sydney Grace. Definitely a rose gold. This is High Strung by ColourPop. That's where I start keeping all of the rose golds. This is Rose Dust by NYX. And then this is Cosmopolitan by Makeup Geek, which we will have to see how this is doing. That one is feeling a little more peachy, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna count this last shade here. I'm swatching it next to some of the more reddish shades and I just feel like it's a little more gold than it is um, rosy. And so it almost leans more copper. Um, in terms of what I wanna keep, definitely this first shade. Ah, screw it, I'm keeping all of them. I love this color. All right, so we're kind of in coral pink land here. Let's go ahead and get these organized. I think this flow makes the most sense, but let's go ahead and swatch these and see for sure. This is the last shade we left off with, just to kind of see how things transition. So uh, this is Alluring by Sydney Grace. That's actually not a bad transition there. That is a flow. Okay, so that is Alluring by Sydney Grace. This is Eden, also by Sydney Grace. A little bit more of a peachy tone. And then we've got Pep Talk by ColourPop, which is very similar, just a little bit lighter of a shade. Then we move into some pinky tones. So this is Golden Rose by Sydney Grace. This is definitely pink, but it's got a strong um, gold shift to it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where the best place is to put that shade, to be honest. And then this is Savage by ColourPop, which is kind of not doing much for me. I feel like it has hard pan and it's not really working anymore. I like the flow of these shades. This one here is just feeling a little more rose now that I see it. So I think I, I definitely want to keep this shade. I think I'm gonna slip it in over with some rose shades um, that I've already got going. Um, and then that's the shade we started with. So then we've got these three here and then this shade from ColourPop, which I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of because I don't like it. Um, and then I've got these three shades here. I like that. That's definitely more peachy. And I'm gonna keep all three of them. All right, let's see here. I start to feel like I've got a lot of pinky coral shades. That's sort of reddish tones here. I'm trying to decide what to do with them because we've got these corals here which can easily go into copper, which can then easily go into orange. I feel like these are more berry shades, but they're bright. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and put these ahead of these. It's not exactly perfect in the flow, but these start to feel very rosy and I wanna lean more towards the rusty colors at the end to move into warm neutrals. So let's swatch these real fast. This is Rustic Maroon from uh, Coastal Scents. Uh, let's see, this is Stay Golden by ColourPop. All right, I'm going to argue that this red and this shade should go over here. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this pinky shade. I think I'm gonna keep that pinky shade there and then I'm gonna move these two to the red orange section at the end. All right, so we've got these here. I think I've got a lot of similar shades, but let's find out. This is, ooh, excuse me, P. 
Peach Puff by Coastal Scents. This is definitely a light pink shade. This is Fairy Tale by Sydney Grace. This is Lay Low by ColourPop. A little darker, very similar undertone though. This is Pumpkin by Feather River. Nope, that's more orange. I'll move that to my orange section. Uh, this is Fleur by Sydney Grace. <sighs> that's a really pretty coral. This is Wait For It by ColourPop. Darker coral. That's really pretty. Uh, let's do this next. This is Thankful by Sydney Grace. This is The News by ColourPop. And then finally, this is Tuscany by um, Coastal Scents. Just feeling a little neutral, but we're gonna keep it here because I, I think that flow makes sense. All right, so this lightest pink, I don't know as if I'm like madly in love with it. So I think I can pass that on. These next two shades seem super similar. So this is Lalo and Fairy Tale. I think I'm gonna pass on Lalo from ColourPop and keep Fairy Tale. Uh, I like this corally color. I like how bright this one is. This is more muted, even more muted. I think I'm good with that as the ones that I am keeping there. I can already tell you what I'm missing is good yellow singles here. So I feel like that may be something I need to leave a little bit of space for. Um, let's go ahead and swatch all these coppers because I feel like I've got a lot of this sort of coppery shade in varying sort of undertones. So let's get those swatched. All right, up first is Coral Pink from Coastal Scents. Very orangey copper color. Next up is Sunset Days by NYX. This is NYX Fireball, be a little bit more pinky toned. This is Copper, Bright Copper from Coastal Scents. This is Cosmopolitan from Makeup Geek. And then this is Cider. This is a new shade that I just got from Luxy of a really orangey sort of color. Let me lighten this. I feel like I'm losing a little light. There we go. That's a little better. I think I'm gonna pass on bright copper because I'm gonna keep Cosmopolitan. I like that a little bit better. I'm also keeping Cider, which is really cool. Um, I'm gonna pass this first shade on. I'm gonna keep these four, I think is the way that I'm gonna do it. But I wanna do one, two, three, four. When it comes to these shadows, I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of any of them because I don't feel like any of these are super similar colors to one another. But I do wanna try and figure out the order I wanna put them in. Um, and I definitely need to note down that I need some more yellow tones because I don't have a lot of yellow single shadows. I love yellow, um, but I don't have a lot of them. All right, so this is Pumpkin by Sydney Grace. Um, very light peachy color, really great transition shade. This is Rule by MAC. This might be bad. No, that still works. This is Early Bird by ColourPop. Such a fun shade. No, Makeup Geek. That one still feels like it's okay. Some of these have felt very crumbly to the touch. This is Apple Spice, also from Makeup Geek. That one feels like it might be going off. It's not building color very well. This is Sydney Grace Harvest. Beautiful rust color, insanely good pigmentation. So that's the difference. I feel like my Makeup Geek used to be super pigmented and now I feel like the color is starting to go off in them a little bit. Um, this is Stay Golden from ColourPop, more of a reddish color. Then this is One Night Stand by Luxy, which is like my new bright metallic red, super pretty. This is Haystack by Sydney Grace. Awesome sort of muted yellow color. Getting rid of Apple Spice here from Makeup Geek, but I'm gonna keep the rest of these um, shades here that are shown on my arm. And then I'm gonna go ahead and load up my palette and show you where we're sitting. All right, so here's how the palette is looking. We've gone from those fuchsias down, ending up into the corals. The ombre effect is making me super happy. And then we've moved over to some copper and golds here. Now I've got this space left in this palette. Um, my intention had gone, been to go from these very, very warm shades to my warm neutrals. But now that I'm kind of looking at what I have left, I'm kind of thinking what I'm gonna do is finish out the rest of my brights over here. So I think I'm gonna move to blues and greens next. Then I think I'm gonna go to my nude shades that are warm toned and more neutral uh, in undertone. And I think that I'm gonna build into one other palette. I'm not sure which one yet. 
All right, let's start with greens first, then we'll do teals, then we'll do blues, because then at least it transitions appropriately. And I, I think because I ended with bright yellow, so I want to do the more yellowy greens first, and then the more true greens second. All right, I think that is the flow that I want to go through. So up first, this is a bright citron called Deja Vu from ColourPop. A really nice lime green. It's not swatching the best. I wonder if this is a shade that needs a little bit of wet in order to like live its best life. Yep, it does. So I just wet my finger slightly and it definitely is a lot more impactful then. This is Bewitched from NYX. That almost looks more green green, doesn't it? Eh, we'll leave it there. This is Dazzle from Sydney Grace. This is beautiful. And then we've got this shade called Celebrate also from Sydney Grace, which is more of an apple green. You know, as I swat, uh, when I looked at them, I thought these two shades were gonna be the most similar and they are really not, in fact. Yeah, that's really the right order there. One, two, three, four. All right, well, we're gonna keep all four of those. Now we move into greens that are a little bit more muted, but not quite to olive tone yet. We have some shimmers and some mattes. So this is Forest Eve from, let's see, that's Coastal Scents. And then this is Dark, Dark Golden Olive also by Coastal Scents. Uh, might need to go with olives. This is Team Captain by ColourPop. And then this is Dirty Martini, which was a really famous shade from Makeup Geek. But yeah, it's definitely getting powdery. It's like it's dried out completely. That's really disappointing. Let's go ahead and swatch a couple more shades here that I feel like are going to kind of help me determine the order and the flow of some of these as well. Let's do this. So this is Venom by Makeup Geek. See, that one's still going strong. This shade is Tea Garden. This is a duochrome. It's a little bit lighter. In fact, that one may need to go with, that may be my transition shade from the shades we just had. That is from ColourPop. It's kind of a duochrome shifting shade there, but it's definitely a lot lighter. This is Fallen from, let's see, who is that from? Oh yeah, that's Sydney Grace. That's beautiful olive. Uh, let's see, this is Cherry Moss by Coastal Scents. That one almost is a little more brown. It's like a duochrome shifting shade. This is La Chase. The, it's an indie brand I picked up. I can't remember who does this though. And that starts to be a little bit more of a dirty brown color actually. And then this is Olive Wood by Coastal Scents. That one needs some building to show up. I don't feel like this dark golden olive I'm gonna reach for, so I might pass on that. I definitely wanna keep Team Captain. I think I'm gonna pass on Dirty Martini. Uh, this shade Venom is going strong, so I like that. I also like this um, Fallen shade from uh, Sydney Grace. I think I'm gonna pass on Cherry Moss from Sid um, And then this shade, is more brown, so I think I'm gonna put that with my browns. I'm gonna keep one more olive matte, so I think I'm gonna keep that. All right, when it comes to these greens, I only have one matte, so I can guarantee that I'm going to keep it um, at the very end here, but let's swatch the rest of these shimmers and see how we feel. Um, this is Voodoo, this is one of those NYX duochrome shades, but it leans very green brown. It's more green than brown, at least how I wear it. And then this is Mula from Luxie. I thought this was a really pretty bright green. This is Slate Green by Coastal Scents. This is Clotho by that indie brand that I cannot freaking remember. This is Forest Eve by Coastal Scents. Hey guys, these Coastal Scent shadows, most of them are swatching as well as many of the other shades I have here. Um, and then finally, this is Evergreen by Sydney Grace. So this is my only sort of true green green, but even it's a little more muted, which is why I like it. I like Moolah actually better than Slate Green. So let's get rid of Slate Green 
I don't feel like I need to keep both of these. So I think I'm going to keep, swatch these and see which one swatches better. So that's Clotho, and then this is Forest Eve. Gosh, they really swatch about the same. So I think I'm going to keep Clotho, and I'll pass on Forest Eve, and I will keep the, um, what is this? Evergreen by Sydney Grace. So that will be that row. All right, now I've got teals, and I feel like we need to move from sort of the more greenish shades into some more of the bluish shades. All right, let's do muted first. So this is a Bees by Sydney Grace. Yeah, definitely more of a muted hunter green. This is Lush by Luxie. Definitely more of a slate blue green. This is Long Term Relationship by Prestige Cosmetics. Sort of that duochrome teal brown. This is Jaded by um, NYX. This is Envy by Makeup Geek. Doing a little powdery again. This is Woodland by Sydney Grace. It's a matte. Well, I know I'm gonna pass that Makeup Geek shadow on. It's definitely gone off. Really like this Lucy shadow. Love this duo chrome. Like this green. I don't feel like I wanna keep this Abbey shade from Sydney Grace. Um, so let's pass that on to a friend. Uh, this is Ni Niagara from Coastal Scents. It's sort of a duo chrome light teal blue or gold shifting shade. This is Steamy by MAC. Actually seems to be in good shape still. This is Promenade from Sydney Grace. Very similar shade to that Coastal Scents, just deeper, I feel like. This is Comforter by Sydney Grace. Now we're getting into more teal colors. Then this is Slay Fairer by ColourPop brighter, more teal, and this is Autumn Breeze by Makeup Geek. I want to keep this shade from Sydney Grace. I think I'm going to pass this shade on. I know it's similar. I think it's similar, and I think if I use a light hand, I can achieve the same look as that one. Steamy from MAC is pretty, but I feel like this shade is very similar, so I feel like I want to pass on that and keep that and this this. Let me re-swatch these four and see how I feel about keeping all of them. Because here's the thing, this is not a shade I wear the ton, a ton. So I want to make sure that when I'm keeping them, I'm actually going to wear them. And that one's more muted, so I can see myself reaching for that. This is Sydney Grace Comforter, which is more of a bright teal. This is Slayfair by Colourpop. A little more aqua. And then this is Autumn Breeze by Makeup Geek. Alright, definitely the first shade. I think I'm gonna pass on this Makeup Geek shade. And I think I'm gonna pass on my ColourPop shade. I think I'm gonna keep those two. So I'm feeling I'm going to keep most of these, but let's swatch them. So this is Peacock mm, Makeup Geek. Let's see. That has gone off. Yeah, it's all crumbly and powdery. Dang it. This is Formation by ColourPop. Ooh, that is really bright. That's pretty though. This is Pool Party by Sydney Grace. Super bright, really gorgeous. And I've got these two very light teals down here. I wanna say these are both NYX shadows. So this is Glass Slipper by NYX. And then this is Mermaid, yep, also by NYX. Those are really freaking similar to one another. All right, that's gonna go. I'm gonna keep this and this. I think I'm gonna pass this shade on and keep this. So let's keep those three. All right, we have blues here. Um, let's see, we're going from light teal. So I'm thinking maybe let's go from brighter blues into my darker. So let's go ahead and swatch all six of those. So up first is from City Grace. This is JB. This is probably my brightest cobalt blue. It's stunning. And then this is also from Sydney Grace. This is below zero, which I think ends up looking more navy. Yep, it really does. This is Backstage by ColourPop. So this is a matte blue. 
which to be honest, I don't know how much I would use of that blue. Would I use that shade? I'm not sure I would. And I could see myself deepening with this shade, which is from Sydney Grace, which is called Ice Fishing. But I feel like when I want a blue, I tend to want a metallic. All right, this is Sydney Grace. This is the shade Swimming Swans, which is a really nice mid tone blue. And then this is from NYX. This is the shade Blue Jeans, which, gosh, those are so pretty. This is more of a gray blue called Black Ice from Sydney Grace. And then this is Starboy, which is a new Luxie shadow that I just got that I am like insanely gaga for. And that may be a good transition shade before where we left off and where we want to go into. All right, I do want to keep these two blues. I think they're different enough. I do think I'm going to pass this blue matte on. I just don't think I'm going to use it. I'm going to keep that darker blue there because I think that's a really nice transition shade. These two blues look so similar. All right, which one do I like better? So that's Sydney Grace and that is NYX. Can I sit here and argue that those are not exactly the same shade? I feel like I could. You know what? I don't have to give up any of these. Nobody's forcing me. So I think I'm gonna keep these. And I just realized I hadn't reattached my mic, so hopefully I can recover the sound for a little bit of that video. I hate it when I do that, guys. Apologies. Um, all right, so here's how this palette's looking. I think this is good. It still gives me some little bit of space here. So I've got my purples into corals over here, my bronzes into little bits of gold, yellow. I feel like I need to beef up this yellow section a little bit with some murky yellows here, and then goes into greens and blues. So I think this gives me the opportunity to kind of fill in a couple of missing shades that I see up here at the top. And then what I will do will be able to build one more palette. So I am gonna go ahead and pause for today. I'm losing the light outside and it's 7.14 and I am hungry for dinner. Uh, so I don't wanna come back and film at night because I will have a uh, horrible light. The lighting will be off. I need that natural light coming in the windows, I think, to make colors true to life. So I am gonna go ahead and wrap up my filming here. I still am not entirely sure if this video has been cut into multiple places or if I've just been rambling at the mouth for the last hour and a half for you guys. But uh, we have one last section to do and that is neutrals and we will tackle that one next.